Uh, welcome to worship at Pennside Presbyterian Church. Um, your order of worship tells you that Grace Andre should be here. Um, she's not a shape changer. I'm Vicki Bowers. I'm filling in for Grace. Uh, we had snow this morning and uh, it kept a lot of people in. So uh, Grace is not here and I'm here in her place, in her stead. Are there any announcements? No? Then let us prepare our hearts for worship with the prelude. <laughs> Grace to you and peace from God, who is, who was, and who is to come. And God also with you. The grace of God has dawned upon the world with healing for all humankind. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of God. Alleluia. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Alleluia. With joy, let us pray to our Savior, the Son of God, who became one of us, saying, The grace of God be with us all. O Christ, let your gospel shine in every place where the word of life is not yet received. Draw the whole creation to yourself, that your salvation may be known through all the earth. The grace of God be with us all. O Christ, Savior and Lord, extend your church to every place. Make it a place of welcome for people of every race and tongue. The grace of God be with us all. O Christ, ruler of rulers, direct the work and thoughts of the leaders of nations that they may seek justice and further peace and freedom for all. The grace of God be with us all. O Christ, Master of all, support the weak and comfort the afflicted, strengthen the tempted and raise the fallen, watch over the lonely and those in danger, help give hope to the despairing and sustain the faith of the persecuted. The grace, grace of, of God, God be with us all. Amen. O Christ, light made manifest as the true light of God, gladden our hearts on this joyful morning of your glory. Call us by your name on the great day of your coming, 
and give us grace to offer with all the hosts of heaven, unending praise to God in whom all things find their ending, now and ever. Amen. <laughs> of John tells us the basis for our judgment is this. The light came into the world, and people love darkness more than the light, for their actions are evil. We confess our sins to God, to whom we have access through faith in Christ. We come in boldness and confidence, not according to our merit, but according to God's grace. The Lord be with you. Holy God, you have given us everything. We have failed to respond with gratitude. In Jesus Christ, you have given us your word. We answer with empty promises and lies. In Jesus Christ, you have given us your light. We try to hide ourselves from your glory. In Jesus Christ, you have given us your life. Even this precious gift we have not received. Have mercy on us, O God. Forgive us. In Jesus Christ, give us the faith and power to become what you created us to be, beloved children, full of grace and truth. God's promise, the sign and seal of your redemption. You have been called by God, claimed in Christ, set free through the Spirit. Believe this good news. In Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Thanks be to God. As children of our Heavenly Father, let us celebrate the reality that we are all children of God, 
by passing the peace God has given. The peace of Christ be with you always, always and also, also with, with you. you. Happy New Year, by the way. <laughs> turn to Holy Scripture. Let us turn to the Holy One. Eternal Word of God, we praise you, that in the fullness of time you did cause your Word to be written down on the pages of Holy Scripture, that for us and for our salvation we may hear, we may believe, and we may see ourselves and your world in a new way. We give you thanks, living word of God, that you come to us through Holy Scripture. And we pray now that as Holy Scripture is read by the power of your Holy Spirit, 
Help us, O Lord, to hear, to see, and to obey. Through Christ, amen. Our first reading this morning comes from the book of Isaiah, and it's a very familiar scripture. This is Isaiah speaking to people who are being gathered back together from a dispersion. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the people. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant, and your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense, and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. herald angels sing Jesus the light of the world glory to the newborn king Jesus the light of the world will walk in the light the beautiful light Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Oh, shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Joyful all you nations rise. Jesus, the light of the world. Join the triumph of the skies, Jesus, the light of the world. We'll walk in the light, the beautiful light. Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Oh, shine around us by day and by night, Jesus, the light of the world. Christ, by highest heaven adored, Jesus, the light of the world, Christ, the everlasting Lord, Jesus, the light of the world, will walk in the light, the beautiful light, come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Oh, shine all around us by day and by night Jesus the light of the world hail the heaven prince of peace Jesus the light of the world hail the son of righteousness Jesus the light of the world full light come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright oh shine all around us by day and by night jesus the light of the world jesus the light of the world
Thank you, Dave. Our second reading comes from Psalm 72, which is a psalm asking guidance for the new king, um, who was Solomon, being raised to the level of king. And his kingdom started well and didn't end quite so well. But this is high hopes at his coming. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to a king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. May the mountains yield prosperity for the people and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live while the sun endures and as long as the moon throughout all generations. May he be like rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. May the kings of Tarshish and of the isles render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. May all kings fall down before him, all nations give service. For he delivers the needy when they call, the poor and those who have no helper. He has pity on the weak and the needy and saves the lives of the needy. From, the, from oppression and violence, he redeems their life, and precious is their blood in his sight. Our gospel reading is the familiar reading from Matthew chapter 2 that we know as the coming of the three wise men. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. Calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country, by another road. The grass withers, the flower falls, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O oh Lord, for the gift of your word read, we give you thanks. Now as your word is proclaimed, we pray that insofar as what is said is true, you would write it on our hearts and give us the grace to believe. And insofar as it is false, may it fall to the ground, soon be forgotten, and do no harm. Amen. Happy New Year. Happy 2021, and as much as I said I would be glad to write 2021 on my checks, when I wrote my offering check this morning, I wrote 2020. It's a year that just won't let go, as evidenced by the fact that I have paper in my hand and not my tablet due to technical difficulties. Nonetheless, goodbye 2020. Hello 2021. We have walked a hard road in 2020. The terrain was strange and unforgiving. We walked uphill both ways and the wind was always in our face and the sun was always against us. Are we ready to walk by another road in 2021? Will we choose to make the vision of the God we meet in Jesus Christ born in Bethlehem, 
born in flesh, the Godhead, see, hail the incarnate deity, born among the least of these, for the least of these. Will we choose another road in 2021, or will it be more of the same? Matthew 2 gives us a beloved example of what it means to walk by another road. We call them the three kings, or the three wise men, or simply the magi. Now, interestingly, Scripture doesn't actually tell us how many of them there were. We infer that there were three because there were the three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That they were kings is inferred with the wealth of the, that it took to travel and make the journey and present such gifts. And wise men is a way of understanding the Greek term magi, which points to a wisdom school in Persia associated with the Zoroastrians, who are very much focused on the stars. Well, wherever they, whoever they were, wherever they were from, however many of them they were, when we sift through all of the pious reflection, we find this kernel. The Magi were all in. They were totally committed. They invested vast sums to take a huge risk. They set out on a road they did not know in search of a newborn king who would change the world. They walked by faith in search of sight. We celebrate their arrival. We celebrate the moment when faith became sight with the holy day of epiphany, which means unveiling or revelation. Epiphany is that great aha moment when we finally understand and we see ourselves in our world in a new way. The Magi demonstrate their new understanding after they have found the child and presented their gifts. Matthew tells us, and having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. A few months ago, Janice and I went down to Holden Beach, North Carolina for a week at the beach. Now, to give you a sense of where Holden Beach is, because we didn't know where it was, it's about an hour north of Myrtle Beach. It's a long drive. And Janice and I had never made this trip, so the drive down seemed to take forever. How much longer was the unspoken question, are we there yet? The drive back seemed much quicker because now the route was familiar. We knew where we were. We knew how much longer it was going to be. We know, knew where we might stop. We knew the road. And that knowledge, that certainty, that comfort is the gift of known roads. Standard operating procedure, doing what we have done the way we've always done it, assures us of known outcomes and predictable results. And after 2020, the usual and the predictable sounds so appealing. We are ready to return to the big N word, normalcy, whatever that is. And it's understandable that we yearn for that and we crave that, the comfort that that gives. But be careful because you might get what you wish for. The Magi set out from parts unknown to a destination unknown. All they had was a star and their learning. And their training told them that they were looking for a newborn king of the Jews, so they followed the predictable road. They went to Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, because kings are born in capitals. We can't fault their reasoning. But one of the reasons why I prefer to call them magi rather than wise men is that showing up in Jerusalem and asking King Herod, a king of what, you might ask, king of Israel. Oh, that's right, king of the Jews. So asking King Herod, king of the Jews, where is born the newborn king of the Jews may not go over so well. I submit it's one of the dumber questions in the Bible. They may be wise, but they're not savvy. And haven't they read the news about who Herod is? Herod's response is predictable. He was frightened. And a frightened king does terrible things. Matthew tells us when King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. Why was all Jerusalem frightened? Because Herod was frightened. And he had a track record of doing frightening things when he was afraid. Everything that Herod will do, the deception, the scheming, the atrocity that follows this passage, all of it is predictable. It's Herod being Herod. And when the Magi find Jesus, they offer their gifts, and they worship him, they are still operating in their comfort zones. Kings give kings 
gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But they could not miss the strangeness of his location. He was not with Pilate in one of Pilate's great palaces like the, the New Temple or Masada or the Caesarea Maritimia. Beautiful all. No, he was in a peasant's dwelling in Bethlehem with a simple maid for his mother. No royal robes, no servants attending. Just a simple place with simple people. What kind of king was this? This was unusual and unpredictable. What was God up to? What had they seen in the stars? The psalmist tells us. Tells us the kind of king Jesus is. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy and crush the oppressor. For he delivers the needy when they call, the poor and those who have no helper. He has pity on the weak and the needy and saves the lives of the needy. From oppression and violence, he redeems their life and precious is their blood in his sight. Jesus would not be the usual and predictable king. And the next time in scripture he is called the king of the Jews, it would be by another terrible Gentile ruler, Pontius Pilate. And he would wear a crown of thorns. He would walk by another road the way of the cross for us and our salvation. God saved the Magi by warning them to return by another road and evade Herod. God saved us by sending Jesus to walk the way of the cross and save us from Satan's power. God saved us and God sends us to walk this journey that is the year of 2021 by another road. And a classic work by Howard Thurman called The Work of Christmas, gives us our direction. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the, sky in the, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back at their flock, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to, make, to bring peace among others, to make music in the heart. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. Our craving for what is usual and predictable and normal is understandable. We are at our limit and our humanity is showing. The way of this world is not the way of the cross. We will not find Jesus on our usual and customary road. In 2021, follow the Magi. Come and behold a king who will never live in a palace. Come and worship a Lord who will call the least of these his brothers and sisters. Do the work of Christmas. And in 2021, walk with God by another road. Amen. Let us confess our faith using the Nicene Creed. Let us confess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we come to our time of offering, again, want to continue to, to thank you for uh, your great generosity and the work that you allow us to do. It is a great blessing. We deeply appreciate it. And we pray that what we are offering is a blessing to you. And to that end, we offer you now a minute of peace.
God as we begin 2021. We offer this year to you. We offer what we give. We offer our time and our talents. Uh, we offer our faithfulness to you. And we ask your blessing, O Lord, upon what we give, that by your grace, your love may be known, your mercy shown. O Lord, we thank you for bringing us to the end of 2020. And we ask your grace and your blessing as we begin 2021. To that end, we dedicate ourselves and our offerings to you. Through Christ, amen. <clears throat> A new year awaits. And our Savior says to us, come. Come as you are. Come as you hope to be. Come as you know you're not. Come. This is my table. I have a place set here for you, and you are welcome. Come. Let us sing together our carol of communion, What Child Is This? Thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also, also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It so is right to give our thanks, thanks and praise. It is right and a joyful thing to offer thanks to you, O God, the source of all creation. Your holy energy flows in animals and plants, makes them move, and gives them the desire to live. You brought forth the world in love. And in your great love, creation finds at last its proper end. And so, with the hosts of heaven and all of creation, we join you in joyful praise to you, singing, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of power, power and might, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You fill our world with glory and light. And yet our mortal eyes cannot behold a truth so bright. Therefore, in time you sent us Jesus Christ, your truth made flesh. He lived among us, teaching, healing, and revealing the boundless riches of your grace, that everyone might see and know the power of your love for us. For on the night that he was betrayed, the Lord took bread, and giving thanks and breaking it, he said, This is my body, given for you. And after supper, he took the cup, and giving thanks, he said, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Remembering the life and work of Christ, his ministry among the poor and lost, his death upon the cross of human shame, and the victory revealed by the empty tomb, we offer you our lives in thanks and praise, in unity with Christ, our friend and Lord. Send your Holy Spirit on us here, and on these gifts of bread and wine we share. Make us gathered here in love for you, members of the body of our Lord, that we may share in the promise of the gospel, one with Christ and one in ministry to all the world. And as, as your church, O oh Lord, we lift up to you our sister, Marcia Spies, who was in the hospital. And we pray, Lord, your blessing upon her and that she would have a swift and complete recovery. We offer this prayer through Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor are yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. For in Christ we are one. This is the body of Christ broken for you. One cup, one sacrifice, one gift we are given, one gift we share, for in Christ we are one. These are the gifts of God, for the people of God. Let all God's children be fed. For those of you at home, I invite you now to receive the bread. For those here, we can now peel off the first layer of the cellophane. And receive the body of Christ that is broken for you. receive the cup of salvation. For those of us here, we may peel off the purple layer of cellophane. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. gratitude, join me in our prayer after Thanksgiving, or after communion. Loving God, you graciously feed us who have received these holy mysteries with the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. May we who have received this sacrament be strengthened in your service. We who have sung your praises tell of your glory and truth. We who have seen the greatness of your love see you face to face in your kingdom. For you have made us your own people by the death and resurrection of your Son, our Lord, and by the life-giving power of your spirit. Amen.
sisters, it's a new year, 2021 awaits. So we are not dismissed, we are sent to serve. We are sent to serve the needy with an open hand. We are sent to serve the stranger with an open heart. We are sent to serve our neighbor with an open mind. We are sent to serve the stranger with an open mind. We are sent to serve our neighbor with an open heart. We are sent to serve our Lord, who we will meet when we serve. As we go forth to serve, know that we do not go alone. The Lord Jesus Christ goes with us, above us to watch over us, beneath us to sustain us, beside us to befriend us, behind us to defend us, before us to show us the way, and always within us making all things, including us, new. Go in peace. Go with God. Amen. Glory to God.